My man, dude, you look great. Thank you. Seriously. Thank you. Kudos. Thank I know what you're working on. Much. You but do know. Today, I'm done now. What's that? I'm done. You're done? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm done with Deadpool. Deadpool is a pastime right now. Until it's not. Again, we're going to do another one. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm getting scooped today. Yeah, that's good. Hey, I didn't know that you were a firefighter. I was doing my research, yeah. and back in the day, you were you were a, you're a real firefighter. I was. I, I'm not a real firefighter, but I did volunteer for the Mescal Fire Department with Danny Martin, who was my chief, who was there last night. And uh, you know, I trained. I did my. Th I mean, I was working. I was also working. I was doing a series at the time. I, they didn't know it, but you know, I would have rather been with a firefighting community than with the acting community personally at that time. So I spent a lot of time with those guys. I spent a lot, a lot of time in Tucson Airport fire. I spent a lot of time in Phoenix fire. I spent, yeah. That makes you a firefighter, my man. Seriously. I just love the community, man. They're just good people. They're and really good people. How did you pull on that then for this role? I don't, you know, you don't, but how do you pull on anything? You know, you do a bunch of research and all that, but I've spent 30 years with these guys, you know? And I went to Danny, my buddy, who was my chief, who's my close friend. And I just said, what do you think about me doing this before I said yes? And he was very, uh, he said, you can't not do it. This was made for you or you were made for this. You know this guy and you're gonna represent him in a way. I know that you'll give a thousand percent to do the best job you can do and you can't allow somebody else to give even a hundred percent. You have to give a thousand. Were there parts, as this plays out on the screen, as you're acting it out, that yeah. you say to yourself, I can't believe this happened? Always. I mean, always, that was the kind of emotional kind of through line throughout the whole thing is don't, look, I, got, I was hard on the guys sometimes and you know, it like, you know, you'd have, there's always humor in these community, you know, it's a community of misfits that are actors and a community of misfits that are firefighters. It's pretty much the same thing, except these guys are dealing with life and death situations and we're not. So I said, don't always keep in mind what the possible outcome is of these guys dealing with the kind of dangers that they do selflessly. As a bunch of selfish actors coming in to actually represent that, it was very important for me to let vanity go and let all that bullshit go and represent these people in a true nature, as true as we could do for the moment. Your cast is giving you major props. They're calling you the leader of the pack, even on the set. What drove you as you worked on this film? Because I like yelling at people. <laughs> I like yelling at other actors, not at people. <laughs> I like yelling at other actors. No, they were, they were great, man. A lot of people had come from other jobs, so they were like, I was panicked. I was in full panic mode because I was a big boy, you know, who I had, you know, 240 pounds, and I was like doing another movie, and then this thing came up, and am I gonna be able to lose the weight, and all these guys are gonna be 25 to 35. I'm gonna look like a slob, I'm not gonna be in shape. So I was in panic mode, which is a good mode to be in. So I lost the weight, I got in good shape, and, uh, and I made these guys <laughs> pay for it. <laughs> I'm gonna close with this thought. What? What, what do you say to first responders that face this on the job every day? Thank you, that's it. Like literally from the bottom of my heart. From the bottom of my heart, I couldn't have more respect for anyone than first responders. What they do is unnatural. What they do is totally selfless. And it takes a certain type of person to be that courageous and that selfish.